Okay, everyone. So today we're going to use, we're going to learn a useful trick about how to make water droplets. And this could be used in a couple instances, whether it's on a plant or a person who has, you know, sweat droplets going, or maybe on a glass that was, uh, has some condensation going. And this is, of course, if you, the original picture didn't have water, for example, this is what the plant looks like before the water. This is just taken you know, while it's dry, and then we artificially added these water droplets. And it's pretty easy to do. Um, you, don't, you definitely don't have to be an expert to know how to do this. So we're going to show you right now. Let's get right into it. All right. So now we're on the dry leaf. Let's zoom right in on it. So what we want to do first is we want to create a new layer, which is down here at the very uh, lower right hand section, the plus sign with the square around it. Just hit new layer. And there you go, we've got our new layer over top of the original leaf. Let's go up to where we have the selection box here. Right click, go to the elliptical marquee tool, and let's start off with a perfect circle. So let's do, let's just make a circle. Let's hit shift so that it's a perfect circle. There you go, we've got our selection. Now let's go over to the gradient tool, which uh, could be preset as the bucket tool. Just right click on it and hit gradient. Now you wanna make sure that it is the black to white gradient. And um, it, if you can't find it, just look in the basics one and it's gonna be the black to white most likely. We wanna make sure that it is selected on the radial gradient rather than the side to side, hit radial. And then let's go to the top left-hand corner of the selection. Let's hit shift, hold shift, now hold uh, the left pointer down and go from side to side and release. And now you've got this selection here, which is, uh, you can kind of see where we're going with this. You've got a dark side, which would be sort of the, uh, somewhat of a shadow, and then it goes to the lighter. Now here's where the most important step, and you'll see how this is going to come together right away as soon as we do this. So right now we have this, you know, full, uh, just black to white. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is come over to the layer. And rather than having it selected on normal here, we want to click on that. We want it to be overlay. And now immediately it's somewhat transparent and you can see how it's starting to come together. Really simple. You know, even if you just left it right there, it almost sort of looks like a droplet, but not quite. So let's double click on that layer. And let's just drag this over a little bit so you can see what we're doing. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to go select the inner shadow. And uh, basically you can see kind of how this affects it as we go around the wheel. I want it to be coming from the same angle that the, uh, the dark spot is. And you can see how adjusting the distance in there kind of changes it. And I'm just gonna go to right about there. Sure, why not? And the size affects it as well. So I think that looks good. And then we need to go down to the drop shadow, add that. And same thing, you can see how the distance of the drop shadow and the size of the drop shadow change things. The spread, we're gonna leave the spread small. We're gonna leave the distance relatively close. Size, I think we want it to be pretty small. Distance, pretty small. Spread, just a little bit more. And we're just gonna basically do this until we think it looks right, you know? And I think right there looks pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and let's just hit OK. Let's hit Control D. And look at that. You've got yourself a circular water droplet. It's not, you know, at, at this point, it's not exactly perfect, but it looks like a water droplet. So let's go and we're going to add uh, just a, a small little piece to this puzzle. and. Let's go back over to the ellipse tool and let's go right up to here. Let's just make a little circle. Okay. I don't want there to be any sort of border, but I want this to be perfectly white. Hit enter. All right. And now you can see how it's starting to come together. We've got a, a sparkly uh, water droplet, but I don't want it to be a perfect circle like that. I want to go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's rasterize it. That's way too big. Bring it down to five. 
And there you go. You can see how it's starting to really, really look like a water droplet now. We've got ourselves the droplet. And we've got ourselves somewhat of the light reflection. And this is, of course, all artificial. Now, what I want to do, because I'm just going to end up copying and pasting this all over the leaf, let's hit Control and select Layer 1. Let's merge these layers. And when I do that, it automatically goes uh, back, which I, I don't really want. I want this to remain as the overlay. And, um, oh, no, I guess, sorry, I can't do that. Let's create these as a group. So right click on the both selected, go up to group. Uh, we're just going to make it as group one. Sure. So now uh, what I want to do every time we're going to go ahead and affect, affect this, let's hit control T. And now we can change the sizing of it. In this case, let's make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to move it to right there for right now. Okay. Hit check mark. There you go. So now let's right click on group one, duplicate group, group one copy. Sure. Before we move it, uh, we have to hit control T and now we can move this. I like how that's looking, but we can't just have a bunch of circular droplets. So let's go to edit, transform. Uh, I guess I will do distort a check mark there you go same thing control T let's go ahead and just kind of make this so that it's starting to come together hit the check mark same thing let's go ahead and duplicate the group again Okay, control T, and then you basically just keep going with that. Right click, duplicate group, okay, control T, and you can just keep going along until you are happy with how, how it turns out. And you can see how it's starting to look like water droplets. Is it perfect? No, but you know, th this is a good way to just get basically some simple droplets if you need to create some moisture in a pinch. This is a really, really easy way to do it. And um, you can just do it over and over again. Just basically keep copying that group. Control T, move it around, resize it. You can distort it. You can warp it to create the different shapes and sizes because water droplets are actually, you know, they're never going to be totally perfect. Um, so just keep doing it like that and um, you'll you'll end up with a nice finished product. It, it's, it's somewhat tedious because you got to do a lot of little water droplets throughout the whole thing to make it look realistic. Typically your, you know, your plant isn't just going to be covered with these big circular water droplets. You got to do a lot of little ones and a lot of distorted ones throughout and you'll end up with something that looks somewhat realistic and um, Hopefully you, you all enjoyed this video and I really uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks.